right? I have this head-on visibility of my sight line right here. And at times, not really for the root, but when you start doing those intermediate passes in the cap, you're gonna need a switch between this head-on um, point of view and tilting your head to see the span point of view as well. If you follow what I'm saying, right? If you're looking dead, looking at it dead from this perspective here, you have no depth perception. You can't see, you can't easily see how far forward you're going, right? If you're from here. So you can easily overstep or understep bringing it to you. So like I said, when you're actually welding, not really for the root, the root you'll be for the most part safe, but your other passes, you need a shift between this point of view and also tilting your head to see the span point of view because you have no depth perception. Make sure that rod is center as possible to evenly eat away the left landing and the right landing. As soon as I make that keyhole, which is the objective as soon as you get into the opening, I'm gonna put that rod in there and I'll slowly make these whips to eat away and also help cool that puddle down, all right? But right now, pay most attention to my positioning and my angle. The purpose is to reinforce that root so you got to make sure you tie in exactly where the toes on that root was when you run that hot bath <laughs> all right so again what i was telling you guys as far as visibility and positioning all right if i'm right here coming through I'm gonna get lost. I'm gonna get lost is how far am I stepping. So this is where I switched to right here now so I can have better visibility of my depth perception. Size of the rod? Yeah. That looks like four, honestly. More closer to four than three. Yeah. 